All right, so I finally got a chance to take the rear center seat belt off. Let's just say this is not a fun game. Now, if you guys wanted to compare, since I'm in the process of adding the inflatable seat belts, this is the old seat uh, seat belt versus the new one. So I don't know if you can look at the tongue and compare it. This one here's got a bigger opening, small opening. This one here's got a notch up top. That one's a solid on it. So if I try using my old one into the seat buckle, it will not latch in. So therefore I kind of have to do this. I was hoping I could just get by with just doing the side seat belts, not the middle one, but unfortunately they changed the design of it. But anyways, what I had to do is I had to take that uh, back cover piece off. So basically I had to squeeze those two tabs together, then separate it on it. Then on the, towards the passenger side, you'll have a zipper that's kind of yeah, about towards the end of the seat of it. You need to unzip it all the way to the top corner on the other side of it. Then you can pull this back. You'll get a couple, two uh, hex screws for the armrest. So here's where the armrest would sit basically, but you'd have to go from the back end of it. Let's see if I can get you in there. So you're gonna have a screw there and they screw over there. Then after you get that, you'll have this little plastic clamp thing that hugs onto this. I had to use the flat blade screwdriver and give a little firm prying onto it to pull it out. Then basically, you wanna kinda of be gentle while you're taking apart this uh, cloth on it. So I got most of the back of it off. Then what I was able to do is fish my hand underneath the seat and kind of pull towards me. Now, if you want to take this completely off, I'm not for sure. I was able to get it off without taking off this whole uh, seat cover on it. But you will have to, uh, I believe, take apart this. I haven't figured out. I was trying to get the headrest completely out. But I couldn't figure out how to do that. But anyways, on the back of it, you'll have a T50. Somewhere right along here, you'll have to pull this cover off, of course. Unscrew that. And basically that will loosen up that seat belt that sits back here. I don't know how well I can get you into inside of there. But let me see. But basically, I don't know if it's... You're gonna have a uh, 50 millimeter or 50 Torx, a T50, down in this hole here. And basically, the foam of it, the back of it, is uh, uh, shaped out as a seat belt. So basically, it just kind of helps cover the seat belt. So, what I had to do after I got that off, I was able to get my long hand. And kind of, I had to kind of switch between going through here and going underneath the actual seat behind there, between the actual seat and the frame of the seat itself. And basically, just like a little cutout over here, that just kind of hugs, fits right over that seat belt on it. So I had to pull the seat belt out towards me while pulling the actual seat outwards, so I can get enough room to shimmy the seat belt tensioner out I was able to fish it through behind here on it now somebody's gonna ask probably how do you get this off of there it just separates I didn't have to cut or anything you just you just spread it open a little bit and pull the actual seat belt off and that will come out so now to put the new one on I'll have to I believe I'll have to yeah so basically you'd want to fish the actual buckle through. I don't know how else. So you'll have to fish that up and through and over here. Then you, know, you have to get your seat belt into place. It does have a, a alignment tab. So that's kind of helpful, I guess. So basically it would fit 
basically just like that, but on the inside. So I had to pull the seat and the buckle out towards me. Then I was able to kind of uh, work it through towards the passenger side and make it come out of here. All right, so I got this one kind of started here. Like I said, I just kind of went through there. Had to reach my arm up through here. And I would almost say this would be a two-person job. Somebody can help pull on the seat cushion outwards while somebody else fishes it through on it. But I only have just myself, so. But basically, I just had to feed it through like so. Then I'll have to get the buckle through. Then I can get the pretensioner up into place and it'll fit. Alright, so this is what I was talking about on to take it apart. Basically, you'll have this and it's got like a lip onto it with the other side, which is tucked on the inside of the seat now. Basically, I had to squeeze those two together and then separate it, pull it apart on it. Then, like I said, you'll have a zipper over here. And you just want to, I think it starts somewhere about here, then you'll just unzip it all the way up to this corner here. Then that will give you enough room to get to the armrest bolts. You'll have one over here. You'll have one over here. Then, like I said, when you pull this back, you'll have your T50 right there. So I'm at the process where I'm just making sure I'm in place. I'll go ahead and start my screw, and then I'll be buttoning everything back up. Alright, so I got that bolt back into place seat belts nice and secured on it you want to just kind of throw that over there just for right now because you'll have to tuck this bottom one in you can take this rear seat cushion out therefore you can pull this fabric back towards behind there so you can lock it in but also don't forget to put in your um, center armrest on it so basically they're just kind of like little tabs that lines into place. Then you can start your four Torx bit on it. All right, so what I did with the center armrest on it, I went on and put that uh, black plastic cap looking piece over that rail. Then I went on and put this into place. I had it folded inwards on it. Then I actually pulled the seat down. And just look because you got like I said you got those two alignment tabs so alignment tabs should be right in the middle here my first try I had the alignment tab in the middle then the alignment tab on this hole here so I had to just pull it out a little bit and just move it downwards to get it right into the alignment hole there then go on put on your uh, screws that is a t30 bit so now, after I got that, I'm pretty much all I gotta do is just pull this other end through and lock it into place, zip it up, and that will be all for that. Now, you might have a little wrinkle on it, but over time, as it's got more tension, it should straighten out on it. Nobody's gonna see it, it's facing the trunk, so I ain't too worried about it. So, thanks for watching.